Hi everyone, we are absolutely loving all of the work you're posting on Tapestry, so keep it up. Here is a list of today's activities for Wednesday. So in literacy, we are carrying on with alliteration, and we know that alliteration can be quite tricky, and when the sounds are the same at the beginning of words, it can be a little bit of a tongue twister. So we've put a video up on the blog to see if you can spot some of the tongue twisters in that video. And for your activity, we're going to have a think about our names and the sounds at the beginning of our names. And we want you to have a think about the pictures that you have on your peg labels in school, see if you can remember. And we want you to create your own peg label using your name and alliteration. So if your name begins with a A, you might have an ant and your name, or if it begins with a Z, you might have a zebra. So think about the sound at the beginning of your name to make your peg label using alliteration. And maybe you can draw a picture of that next to it too. Can't wait to see what you come up with. And for phonics today, we are carrying on practicing our phase two and three phonemes. And what we would like you to do today is see if you can go on phonics play and have a look at some of the games on there. We have put a link to a game on there for you. Can you have a look at the picture and write some of the words to match what you see in the picture? So for example, it might be a picture of a sheep. So you could write the word sheep. Remember to use your sound buttons. And remember, there is a video on tapestry under memos to explain some of our phonics terminology if you're a little bit unsure. So give that a little bit of a watch. And for maths today, we're starting with halving, okay? So I put a story on the blog and it's all about halving. So some of you who have siblings, you might have to share things at home and halve things that you might have. So there's a video on there that we'd like you to watch. And then we would like you to find some different objects around your house. So it could be fruit, it could be pencils. And we would like you to pick a number and can you halve it into two, okay? We would then like you to repeat this with some different numbers. And in the afternoon, we're doing an automatic, we're doing what sounds can you hear in the rainforest, okay? So I would like you to have a little talk with someone at home about the climate, okay? So what the weather is like in the rainforest. So sometimes it might rain a lot, it might be quite warm. And then today we are going to make a musical instrument. So I've attached a picture and we would like you to look at what a rainmaker is, okay? And we would like you to um, make one of uh, a rainmaker today. So you might, on the inside, it's got some cardboard, you might use a kitchen roll, or you might just use some rolled up card. And see if you've got any things like pasta or lentils or rice at home, and see if you can put it in there and seal it up, and then see if you can make some music with it, okay? We would also like you to make um, a wrap for it. So you might, on some paper, um, decorate it with some different colours. You might even want to draw a rainforest on there, so you might draw some trees and some animals that live in the rainforest as well. And then we would like you to make up a song or uh, a rhythm composition with your rainmaker for your family as well. Um, and this week it is um, Children's Mental Health Week, so I've put a link on the blog um, to a website called Place to Be, and there's some lovely activities that you can do on there with your families at home. Okay, and your well-being activity for today is to do some yoga. Now I know that there are some rainforest yoga or some jungle um, yoga on YouTube, so you might want to explore those and do that as well. We hope you have a lovely day and we can't wait to see what you get up to on Tapestry. Bye! Bye!